and um, I'm gonna discuss some of the best practices uh, to actually uh, harden our images so let's get started uh, so what are docker hardened images uh, they actually play a very important role in securing our containerized applications by reducing any sort of vulnerabilities or security issues that are present. Uh, it helps uh, mitigate risks, ensuring a safer deployment environment and compliance with security standards. So what Docker Images does is uh, they minimize the attack surface by stripping away any unnecessary software packages or components present in our images. So this kind of reduction uh, limits the potential of any vulnerabilities in the system. Uh, so these kind of hardened images are actually built from very minimalistic lightweight base images. Uh, so that ensures that only essential libraries and tools are included in those images such that there is a very less scope or less chance for uh, security issues uh, also we these kind of images utilize automated uh, security scanning tools to identify vulnerabilities um, ensuring that any um, outdated or insecure components are promptly addressed and removed so uh, given all this uh, these images of course uh, provides enhanced security and uh, they are really required when there are certain kind of compliance requirements for example uh, hipaa or gdpr so these kind of images becomes essential in those scenarios um so let's discuss some of the best practices for creating such hardened images uh, we need to start with some minimal base images that includes only essential components or packages. We need to regularly update our images to patch any known vulnerabilities that come up to improve our security posture. Uh, we need to implement security scanning tools to identify vulnerabilities and compliance issues. And of course, every now and then, um, if we detect that there are some packages that are really unnecessary and not required, we can take uh, steps to remove those from the images so uh, so wh what are the what is the importance of those hardened images um, so again this reduces attack surface and also enhances overall uh, application performance and stability so all in all our application if, if you are making some application for, um, let's say, finance or uh, security, uh, we do need to make sure that our images are hardened. And we need to take care that all these steps are taken way before the application is also planned. We can also integrate scanning in our CI CD pipelines to ensure any change or any deployment uh, is accompanied with a security scan. So we don't introduce any vulnerability unknowingly. Uh, so that was all about Docker hardened images. Uh, yeah, uh, let me know if you have any more questions and please comment, like and subscribe on my videos. And yeah, see you soon in my next video. Bye bye.